Hello and welcome to another episode. This is more about the uh, ICCU recall uh, in America and what possibly might happen over here. Um, when I was searching through the INAC forums last night for the origin of how all this started, I found that Hyundai had uh, launched a service campaign yesterday, service campaign 997 in the US. So you've got the equivalent recall notice as the EV6 in America, but it's a lot shorter. Um, if you want more detail and exactly how they're going to swap and drain your coolant in various places and what they actually do, um, I'll put all the links to both of these PDFs in the description. It's good news that they're actually bringing out this software update, so it should hopefully stop the ICCUs blowing. So I only see this as a positive. We just need the recall to be worldwide. Anyway, the, the Ionic Forum thread I was following, I did a search on the DTC error code. And basically, they'd used Car Scanner to identify that code, and that is the one that appears in the uh, Kia TSB. So it, it, is, it is possible to use Car Scanner to identify if you've got a stored code and whether or not your ICCU needs changing. And I'll come to that and how to do it in Car Scanner in a bit. But going through the thread, it seems to mention that uh, fast charging, DC fast charging, but only certain types, is causing a little bit of voltage instability and causing the issue. But then I've also heard other people suggest it might be uh, fluid leaks in the ICCU, but I, that's the first I've heard of that. I think the charging one is more likely. So if that is the case, then you could exacerbate it by, make it worse by doing more DC fast charging. But all this is not confirmed. I'm just still doing the research. So if you can charge at home on AC, all the better, I think. Um, this is, I'm going to quickly show you how to use car scanner and an OBD dongle. Um, how to check for the relevant fault code for the ICCU pending failure. And this will tell you if they will swap your ICCU um, once the campaign gets to you around the world and also in the US. The code you're looking for is DCC P1A9096. It, it, it might look like that, or it might have brackets around the 96. Right, I've done previous uh, videos on how to use car scanner and how to plug your OBD in and what uh, OBD adapter to use. And I'm going to use this to see if the stored code, the DTC code, for the ICCU for pending failure is appearing in my car. Um, so you can identify for yourself where you're likely to need a new ICCU. Uh, and hopefully when they get the recall round to you, you can get it swapped quickly. Anyway, if you open up a car scanner and you've got the adapter plugged into the car down the side of the steering wheel and it's switched on, you connect to your uh, OBD adapter and it's connected. Right, diagnostic trouble codes, which is what DTC stands for, if you press the, the button for that on the um, car scanner and then deselect and reselect all of the modules and then read, it takes a minute or two to go for all the 53 modules or, or whatever's on the car. I mean, the Nero V, the new one, is, is very similar in the number of modules, especially the fully loaded one like this. I think there's 53 in my EV6 as well. Uh, on the phone, these, these are the Nero diagnostics, but what I'll do is show you um, one from my car um, that I've got um, captured, that I've stored on my Google Drive. I can show you what it looks like. Okay, um, I'm, I'm showing three on here, but I don't know what they are on the uh, Nero EV. But here's ones I prepared earlier. So it's looking for P1A1996. And it ends up, um, sometimes it displays the codes with the 96 in brackets. But looking for this, mine is in the clear. So mine just needs the software upgrade when they come to do the recall. Now, some have asked, if I've already had an ICCU replacement, um, how would I know if I'm not going to get this again? Well, I guess you don't, but if you check for the uh, DTC code, then that could be a warning that's going to happen again. Thanks for watching.